why I build this not build a permanent house here because my house experience in my whole entire should I do that oh my god this roof I think I need to climb in there to figure out what's going on. I can't see clear though what's going on in there. Hope the rain will be over. In here to help that the water is not go anywhere in the floor. So it can stop the water and it's already wet right now. Look at that one. So this one take all the water and I change it every um, every time that it's already wet so I need new one like this every time it's raining oh my god I hope the rain is over So we use this bowl to seal to seal the roof and we try if it's work we put it inside also so we put also outside with the help of that man thanks see it thanks Good morning amazing people for today's video let's talk about this house behind me my house Good morning everyone, how are you guys doing today? It's Megan here and welcome to another vlog. For today is a house video story. I would love to share to you why should I build this small house here and wood house and it's not a strong house. Why should I do that? So if you are interested, just keep on watching and don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. So first back story we back to when we don't have any house so the first we have we hit a uh, typhoon Pablo which I was I can't remember what year is that but that's the first typhoon that I was experienced in my whole entire life so we are that house that we have before it's the kind of wood so it's all damage from that typhoon so after the typhoon we just recycle we build a recycle house which 
the materials that we are using for that house is from the old house who left of the Typhoon Pablo so we buy a bit of materials like a little bit materials that we need and most of the materials we use for the house is like uh, old and it's from the other house that we have so that house also it's kind of big and it's enough for whole family and it's like upstairs but it's all made with wood and amakan and bamboo and the roof is old also and we have there is a new roof but it's uh, like around three of them so it's not everyone it's look dark already the roof is like just one hit it will be whole so those are not strong one but we do leave that house for a long time like it survived for a long time but it's like the water's dripping a lot like what happened in my room last time when it's raining here so those experience that you have we have here that the water dripping in the roof it's kind of fun and normal for us in here so why I built this house because when my sister working in Saudi she built a house for our parents but those house it's not can fit everyone so I was so I was decided to build a house this house I was choose the material like plywood I put paint on it like a map and also but this house is this kind of design the house is popular for a newly couple here in the province like if you are doing live-in that's the house that we built here but me I was separate from my parents and I was moved I agreed a house and a small house also like this because I like to feel like to be independent I was feel like I'm older enough and I was not independent yet so I was moved from them but I still near to their house so to having a house like I can I can call it like it's mine it's my house so it feels like so much amazing and happy make me happy a lot because I can do design the house my ideas to make the house look good to make over the house those things are make me happy so much that's why I really love to have this house but it's not really like a for now it's a temporary house and I was happy for that I also I cannot build a permanent house here because we are just leaving the land of my aunt which the owner of that rice field behind us that's where my father working is so while my father working that farm we are living in my aunt land so my aunt is in the town and they have land here in the province so we are the one who take care of the land and we are living in here and also it's like a, I was hoping so one day to be able to buy a land but I don't know where so as I give you an example of our recycled house before from Typhoon Pablo so this how the roof look like it's kind of dark and yeah did you see that hole in there it's similar look like that a lot but this this one here it's a new we just we built this before like year one year ago we built this I think one year I believe one one year ago so we built this for to put all the rice bag in here inside and also Barney sleep in here it's like Barney house mm, this sardines is so good like I always eat sardines but the ordinary sardines but this one it's really good it's like I don't know it's called fried sardines it really tastes good so everyone bonus video good afternoon so this where's the water dripping if you remember so now it's fixed finally thanks God so those still uh, seal that we use it's work so no more problem so